Hey everybody, um, so we are back for episode 7 of Chrono Trigger. Um, yeah, let's jump right back into it. Uh, as we can see here, this is Melchior's hut. Uh, Melchior is uh, the swordsmith that we met at the uh, Millennial Fair. Um, let's go uh, see if he's home. Oh look, here he is. Ah, hello. Can I interest you in a weapon? Uh, sure, let's see what you got. Red katana, the robin bow, plasma gun, the hammer arm. Oh yeah, we have a uh, we got a robin bow for uh, for Marley. Uh, Titan vest. Um, ooh, Robo's wearing a Titan vest right now. I could take that away from him and give it to either Luca or Marley. It's probably Marley. Um, yeah, all right. Weapons. If there weren't evil in this world. There would be no need for weapons. What a sad state of affairs. Hmm. So let's, uh... There we go. Mm -hmm. For a robo... in an iron suit here. Nope, not Luca. Marley. Throw a Titan vest on Marley. Sheik, uh, Marley's load bow will swap out for a Robin bow. Oh, bronze bow? No, it's old. Okay. Bolt sword. Yeah, it's still this thing. Uh, tch, tch, tch. Yeah, we're gonna call that good. What's going on down here? Nothing. Nothing. Boring. Bye, Melchior. Uh, Alright. So here's that cave. Uh, it's a creature that only magic can hurt. Good thing we learned magic. Oh, hey. Death to the mystic's enemies. Just right into it. Let's, uh, let's give you guys some magic. Let's go all out here. Bam! Mess them up. Oh, yeah, we got those, uh, tabs. Should use those. Alright. Items. Then we're gonna organize. There we go. Put them all together. Got two power tabs, two magic tabs, and a speed tab. Uh, we'll use the speed first. Um, let's actually look at some of the stats. So, Chrono's speed is currently at 12. Marley at 8. Luca's at 8. And that's because of her belt, the speed belt, which brings her up by 1. So if I give that to her, I can have her grab something else, and that'll keep her on par with Marley. Um, no, I don't want a defender. I don't need a power glove. We can give her the sight scope back. Oh wait, no. Speed belt gives her plus two. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I still want to give the speed tab to her. Then magic wise, she's at twenty. Marley's at 17. Chrono's at 10. Chrono doesn't need it so much. They Neither one of them need the power tab, so I'm going to give the power tab to Chrono. I think I had two power tabs. Jeez. Um, I mean, I got a feeling that these three are going to end up being my uh, my team in the end there, so I'm going to focus all my tabs on, on them for the most part. Uh, so... You know what, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. We're gonna give the speed tab is gonna go to Luca. We're gonna give the magic tabs to. We don't need power tabs on Marley or Luca. Um, I'm gonna give one to Chrono. I'm gonna save the other one for I don't know what, but I'm not gonna give it to him yet. Uh, and then I'm gonna drop both of these magic tabs on Marley. And you know what? I'm going to give the power tab to Chrono. Just, yeah, be done with it. Why am I waiting? Because he's going to get it eventually. Um, Alright. That's all I had there for them. I got a bunch of extra armor and stuff I could sell, I guess. I don't know why I would sell it, because I don't... 
I hardly ever use the money in this game. Um, alright. Yeah, try to chest. An ether. Ethers are good, especially since we're going to be using a bunch of magic. Um, that's where I came down, yeah, okay. And then, we got this weird thing over here. Uh, spits out octopus. Octopuses. Octoblush. I do not, oh wow. He just eats my health. Uh, I do not remember what is weak to what, so we're going to be doing some testing here. Landing on you. You're done. Okay. These guys, I think I can just hit these guys normal. My magic will probably do a lot more to them, but let's see. Oh good, just blind Marley. Let's see what Chrono does to him with the sword. Alright, we're gonna... Did I get both of them? No, that's only one shot. Uh, okay. Let's do a Hypno Wave. I hardly ever use that. Let's, let's just start using it. Did nothing. Cool. Alright, we're gonna start popping them with magic. I got ethers to burn, so... Just about everything in here will die in one hit if you hit it with magic. We'll just do what the game wants us to do. Alright. Uh, yeah. Fire and then done and move on. Let's go. Luca's just a powerhouse of her magic. Like, it's gonna get intense. And then her and Marley together with their dual techs, like, it's gonna get silly. These guys. Um, uh, try... Oh, whatever, turn the lightning, see what happens. Boom. There are things in here, I can't remember what specifically, but there are things in here that heal when you hit them with magic. Uh, so... We're gonna be doing a little experimenting, I guess, to figure out what that is. I could be completely wrong. I could be thinking of a different part of the game altogether. Um, I just say things. Uh, alright, we're not going down there yet. We're gonna clear this room. mid -ether. Good, good. Mid ether is good. Oh. oh boy, a bunch of these guys. Alright. Yeah, let's just start popping them. Alright, if my uh, timing. Well, if my timing is good, then I might not have to get hit by any of them, but I may get hit by one. There's going to be burning MP, but that's fine. There's a safe point in here. We'll shelter up if we need to. We got tons of ether. And we can always buy more. We got tons of money. Yep, why not? <sighs> I usually play these games uh, very conservative. Like, I hardly ever use my items. Shelters I use, but pretty much everything else, like, I avoid using. Oh boy. Uh, I think I can get all these with a firewall, and that should do some pretty good damage. Hmm, counterattack. Not very effective, though. Get close together. Oh yeah, just like that. That's how we want it. Can I, I can't get them all? Come on, a little closer. Oh, a little tighter. There we go. Yep. And we'll wait. Oh yeah. Bats. Ooh. Yeah, just pop these guys with magic. I think otherwise they're super hard to hit. Marley might be, and Luca might be able to hit them. Marley especially, she's got better hit. 
let's, let's do a regular tax on these guys, see what happens. Nothing. Okay, we are using magic. And then the lightning. blushes. Alright. We're gonna do here a little fire whirl. Be able to take out both those guys. Have Marley hit that guy. boxes here. Now this is one of the ones that like most people forget about, don't come back for, but yeah, it's another one of those boxes for when we when we have the uh, things we need. Alright. Uh, okay. Here, this is the save point. I don't want to go there just yet. Um, no, I can't fit through there. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I guess that's where I'm going. Go down here? No. And nothing over here? Yes, that's where I'm going. Cool. I feel like I missed a whole portion of this cave. We're going back. Yeah, because I missed that first door. Oh, jeez. Do I have to fight everything again? I don't wanna. Nope. As long as I don't have to fight everything again, I'm good. here first. So I want to make sure I get everything. Yep, there's a treasure. Should be able to get this with a uh, fire whirl. Come on, you can get a little closer. Oh, you. Come on. Right back. Come on. Go together. Oh, there we go. That should do it. Yep. Right. Bats. All right. Let's see if you guys all group up. No. Well, I could probably get a slash on you though. Yeah. <laughs> Counterattack for nothing. Slash. Should be magic damage. Yep. But not enough. Ah. All right. I'm gonna fire on that. Marley, you gotta be able to take that out with a shot. One damage, oh god. Alright. Oh, and then he separated. But Luca... Eh, come on. Luca's in the right position for Flame Toss. Yeah, Slash and Flame Tools are just weaker versions of the magic. Um, but as you can see, Chrono's just about out of MP. He's burning through it. He's not as uh, resilient as... He uh, doesn't have a plentiful pool like the other girls do. Uh, magic Scarf, uh, though, uh, I believe I want to give that to... Yeah, just Magic Plus 2. Or do I want to give it to Marley right now? No, I want to give that to Luca. Oh, I do not want Chrono having the Rage Band for what's coming up. So yes, he's going to get the Magic Scarf. Yep. 
I'm gonna need his magic boosted anyway for this coming fight. Yep. Alright. That's how we're gonna do that. Okay, now we go back through. Back through everything. So we can get to that save point over there. That's good that they make they don't make you fight everything over again in this cave, because that would be that'd be pretty brutal with the uh the need to use magic. Okay. And we are going to shelter up. And we will save. And then we will go do the thing. The village of magic. Over here and that. Okay. Here we go. Death to the mystic's enemies. Why aren't you a big claw boy? The Hecron. Hit him with some magic. Boom. Now this guy has a special thing where you'll get a warning. Uh, yeah, well we should be able to hit him with ice before he switches over. The warning will probably be coming right after this. And he's gonna use some magic. I'll probably be able to get off on the lightning. Yeah. More magic, okay. Fire again. And ice again. Alright, we're getting... Oh man, I can be antipoding with uh, Luca and Marley. I should have been doing that. Cyclone water. Alright, Crown's gonna lighten. And we'll get the girls to do antipode. If he doesn't switch, yeah, go ahead and try and attack. So when he does that, pretty much you just don't want to attack. So we're going to honor whirl, heal everybody up. This is when you use your items on this fight. If you need ethers, uh, use tonics, whatever. Um, but yeah, just don't actually attack him and uh, there's no issues. Um, we'll just wait. Uh, I don't know if you can do melee. Yeah, okay. There we go. Brief counterattack break. There we go. You just wait it out. Because if you do attack him, he does a counterattack and does a lot of damage. That's pretty much how you lose this fight. Antipode should do quite a bit. 304. Okay. And then lightning again. Yeah, just keep hitting him with magic and then uh, don't attack when he says don't attack. Lightning, and then the girls are doing another antipode. Chrono's just real fast. So, I mean, he doesn't need. Oh, yes, indeed. Alright. So, Chrono does not need uh, high magic because he can do his attacks more, than off more often, but still, high magic doing attacks more often is better. Um, go ahead, try and attack. So, we're gonna do another Aura Whirl. And Luke is just gonna chill. Counterattack break. Hmm, he's still in the pose, so I I'm gonna be upset at that. He doesn't account. Okay, there we go. He's done. Alright. He barely did any damage. Um, as long as, as long as you know what you're doing and you don't attack him, you're good. Uh, if only the great Magus, who brought forth Lavos 400 years ago, had destroyed the human race, the world would have belonged to us mystics. Uh oh. <laughs> good thing he was able to get out his little, uh, little speech there in the end. In the Middle Ages, Magus created Lavos, 
the destroyer of this planet's future. If we go to the Middle Ages and take, care, take out Magus, can we change history? We could use the gate at the fairgrounds. Jump in? Sure. Pool of water? Don't know where it goes? We'll jump right in. Hey look, it's Lucas' house. Let's go stop in. Maybe Taven has something new for us. Oh, just in time. A Taven vest. It's my finest work, the ultimate in defense for my daughter. Great. Yep, that's just... Oh, it gets her speed up, it gets her fire guard up, and yeah, more defense. Just good stuff. Um... He had given us a Taven Vest in the past? Or did I just never pick it up? I don't... No, I definitely picked it up. I... Okay, I'm lost. Alright, we don't need the Magic Scarf anymore, so we're gonna throw the Berserker back on, maybe? Yeah, gonna throw that on. Um... I'm gonna see if Luca's mom. I don't think anything she has to say changed. Yeah. Nothing in Luca's room. Double check. Hey, Luca. I'd like to see more of her. I've been making items she'd like. Okay. I think he just keeps upgrading the Taven vest. Uh, let's go see my mom. Chrono! Chrono, you had me so worried. I heard you were to be executed. Here. Ah, uh, stop scaring me like that. Okay. That's all. Kitty cat. Uh, let's see. I can bring Robo in. Uh, yeah, I can't just change people currently. Alright. That's later. Why don't you do that? Um, oh. Let's go over here. Come on in. Chrono! I owe you one. You saved my skin back there. Man, was I up the creek. I went off on a buying trip and ended up getting jailed with a bunch of thieves. The officials plan planned to execute me without a trial. What has gotten into them? We're forever in your debt. Thank you again. Hope my dad never hears about this. Ten mid-ethers. <gasps> hey? Dad! Working hard? But of course. Right. Yes. Well, all right. Chrono, I'm in your debt. He knows. Now, Chrono, down to business. Please buy whatever you like. What do you got, bud? Uh, Red Katana. Ooh. Rumbo. Not gonna buy the Red Katana, because we're gonna get another one soon. Uh... Let me sell off my old stuff, I guess. Load swords and bolt swords are worth quite a bit. I only have one. Okay. Load swords, though. That's 4,000. Um. No, I'm just gonna sit on it. I have no reason to sell it right now. But yeah. Let's, uh. What else can we go look at? I don't know if anything else has changed down here. Nothing's 
special. So I guess we'll go to uh, we'll go to the castle, I guess, and just get yelled at. Uh, no. Well, yeah, we'll just do it so that you guys can see what happens. Um, all right. Alrighty, we'll run into the castle. Princess Nadia. Come on, Chrono, I don't want to see that bull-headed fool. Princess Nadia. Yeah, that's all that happens there. Super exciting. Alright, now we'll go to the fair and hop through that portal. Actually, in the world, can I change? <sighs> Try to remember, because I believe... No, I don't think I, I just can't do it until later. Later, you're able to just change out your party from this screen. Um, but I cannot do it currently. Because I could just bring Robo in and have him meet my mom. She gives you a little thing for every person that you bring to see her. Um, yeah. Here's the gate. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's been a hot day today. I'm exhausted. I barbecued. I made pulled pork. Uh, crock pot. Um, I climbed on my roof and repaired gutters, uh, all in this uh, heat wave that we got going on right now. Um, so, I'm a little exhausted, but, uh, you know, we'll get back. We'll get through these. Uh, yeah, save. You got anything new to say? Nope. Alright. So, we have Mystic Mountain, 65 million. Lean Square, 1,000, that's where we just were. Protodome, 2,300. Medina Village, 1,000. Truce Canyon, 600 AD. So that puts us back in the past. That's where we want to go next. Because our next goal is to find out more about this Magus fellow who summoned Lavos. Ooh! Oh boy, these guys. Now the thing is, this area here, oh wow, they just right away. Chrono, why are you bright red? Oh no, he's wearing the Berserker, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, he's just gonna auto attack all the time. I didn't want that. That's not the piece that I wanted him to wear. Okay, let's fix that right now. Uh, the Rage Band. That's what we wanted. Okay, the counterattack rate. That's what we want. Because anytime Chrono is hitting more often, the better. Oh, man. Alright. Uh, the bridge is repaired. That's interesting. Our rations have run out. Have the supplies from Guardia Castle arrived yet? We cannot defeat Magus's army by ourselves. Our only hope is the hero. Forming a protective ring around the hero, the best knights of the kingdom kicked off the offensive. Our food supplies have run out. 
I never believed those stories about the hero and his legendary medal. Now it turns out he's our only hope. Does the hero alone have the power to take on Magus's army? Hmm. I can't just walk across the bridge. It stops you there. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. Alright. Let's go to the castle and see what's going on with this whole, uh, hero and war and everything that's going on. I'm sure someone there has some intel. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you again. Everything's fine. Um, kick those doors open. Chancellor, what's up? Sir Chrono, the legendary hero, has finally appeared. He just arrived a moment ago to meet the king. No. Let's head upstairs and go, uh, interrupt that meeting. Well, the king fought bravely against Magus' troops. Had he not heard of the arrival of the hero, he might have fought to the death. I'm so ashamed. I treated him badly, thinking he was just some brat. Luckily, he forgave me. A hero he is. At this rate, Queen Lean will also succumb. Cyrus must have sent the boy to us. Oh, Chrono, I've let down my kingdom. Since we cannot locate Cyrus, our sole hope rests on the boy who has the hero medal. He searches the southern continent for the sword that can defeat Magus. Hmm. Queen was up there, so obviously she's not up in her room. Uh, let's see if anybody else knows anything about what's going on here. Uh, okay. Ooh. Magus has already defeated three fierce warriors. There's a food shortage on the front lines. I'm sorry, the beds are all taken. Heard something about the hero showing up. Arr. The king's trying his best too, so snap out of it. Even the night captain went to the front lines. Arr. Arr. Beds are all taken. Uh, what's going on in the kitchen? The night captain has gone to Zenon Bridge. Many of the wounded from there are resting below. We saw him over there. He's saying that we gotta rely on the hero. The chef's in a snit trying to get food to the front lines while keeping everyone keeping the king healthy. Nobody down here. Okay, the chef has smoke coming around with him. Uh, we've got to nurse the king back to good health. Chef, hurry with the food that goes to Zenon Bridge. Uh, hey you. Is this food good enough for the king? What? My brother? He's... That's what you get for thinking that you're the, one, the only ones fighting for their country. Hey. Stop bickering and grow up. Huh. Pipe down. What do you know? Yeah, smoky bottom. Hey, hey. Come on now. All right. Nope. Wait. Take this with you. Got one jerky. And this is for you guys. Take it with you. Got a power tab. Nice. And tell that fool he'd better come back alive. Alright, so let's go check on the bridge again. I got jerky. I got rations. Uh oh, this is different from before. Mere mortals can never expect to beat Magus' troops. Our food supplies have run out. 
The hero has made it across the bridge somehow, but our troops have suffered heavy losses. Sir Chrono, is that for us? Yes. Food rations. The cook, he has saved us all. Sir Chrono, if I do not make it back, give my brother my thanks. What is going on here? Magus' troops have launched an attack. They're breaking through our defenses. Stop sniveling. It chains the knights of the square table. We shall destroy Magus' troops and bring honor to our king. But we are far outnumbered. This is our last line of defense. We must let no one through. Understood. Our troops are suffering greatly. Sir Chrono, will you assist us? Yes, of course. We are eternally in your debt. You will find Magus' troops across the bridge. Take this with you. Gold Helm. Magus' troops are highly trained. Please be on your guard. Alright, nice. Swap that out. They're both wearing iron still, that's fine. She's got a Titan vest. She's got the Taven vest. It's good. Oh, a bunch of stabby boys. I'm Ozzy, Magus's top general. Those who dare defy Magus have to answer to me. Yes, my children, give them a taste of doom. Alright. Let's uh, fire world these boys. Can I get all three? Yep. Alright, hit that guy with some ice. So magic didn't work on Ozzy. Sail sword works on this guy. Twelve damage. All right, we're gonna hit him with some fire. Uh, magic did not work on him. So, actually, it's, I don't know if provoke will work. Use provoke. See if you can confuse him. Ozzy needs help. Oh, hey, okay, <laughs> cool. Got six tech points. I think if you do anything to him after you defeat the enemies, he runs. So, a little slap on the ass. There you go. Uh, those winds are stronger than I thought. Wait up already. Seems I misjudged you, but I won't do that twice. You're through. Oops. Lightning. Fire. One down. That should be two. Yeah. Ooh. Going with that counterattack for nothing. Uh, and ice. That might be worth putting the magic scarf on. Everything seems to be uh, almost immune to physical damage, so counter attack ain't really doing much. And we'll just attack Ozzy. Ooh, he's definitely susceptible to uh, melee attacks. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna switch that scarf back. That's it! You're finished! Don't mess with Chrono, or you'll really be sorry. Oh no, it's a skeleton tornado! That makes sense. Go Zombor! Crush Sir Magus' enemies! Alright, I gotta remember this guy. Uh... Lightning on the top half. 
No, I think it's the bottom half is lightning and fire. Yep. Alright, uh, fire is bottom half. And then I think we need ice on the top. Yeah. Lightning and fire on the bottom and ice on the top. So yeah, uh, if I were to hit the uh, the top with fire, it heal fire or lightning, it heals them. Um, if I were to hit the bottom with ice, it'll heal the legs. So, all right, Marley is actually going to do an aura on herself because I definitely don't need uh, my one person who can do ice damage. Uh, going down. So otherwise you have to basically just beat the top half with physical attacks and oh, doom 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 Oh man, that's gonna heal it. Yep Good times ah! See, Oh, that's a chrono out. Jeez. Alright, so we're gonna have Luca is going to use a revive. And Chrono should pop up and I should be able to get a normal world off. Come on, buddy. Oh no, come on. Oh, Marley will survive. Come on. She's good. Alright, and then we can get a normal world. That'll get everybody. And then I can't use fire. Um, Alright, she's just gonna have to shoot it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, 100. Nick crit. Jeez, and he's just gonna keep doing that, huh? Basically trying to make Marley useless, so what we're gonna do... Chrono's going to attack. Luca is going to use a mid-tonic on Marley. And Marley is going to use her ice. Ay, oh, jeez. It's just annoying. Ice him up. Oh, come on. And of course, I don't have the uh, counterattack item on. Tonic yourself. Uh, just attack. Another critical attack. Nice. Steals MP. Take all of Luca's MP. But he's done. Oh, what a pain in the neck. Thanks to Sir Chrono, we held the bridge, but unless we defeat Magus, this is an empty victory. Holding the bridge with Sir Chrono's help. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. Thought I remembered one of them giving you something. Alrighty. Mark it. The hero has appeared. That means the epic battle will begin. Welcome, what can I do for you? What do you got? Tonics, mid tonics, heals, revives, and shelters. I don't need any of that right now. I'm good on revives. Uh, okay, thanks a lot. Residence. Oh, there's something shiny in that drawer. Mom said I can't play outside because of the monsters. I'm so bored. Is it true that the king was injured? What's going to happen to us? In our country! 
I heard Magus knows arcane magic, which the monsters can't match. Oh, where could Sir Cyrus be? Surely he hasn't deserted the kingdom. It's locked. Hmm. The king is injured, what's going to happen to us in the country? Hey, is that a Naga bromide you've got there? <laughs> it's Naga porn. Um, I'll trade you something good for it. How about it? Uh, yeah, let's trade. Really? You mean it? Yahoo! Uh, and that's how uh, Yahoo.com started. Um, now, just hold your horses and I'll be back in a jiffy. It's unlocked, so you're free to take it. And I'll be taking this. Hee hee hee. Now you old creepy man. A magic tab. Nice. An inn. We needed an inn. Uh, this way we can rest up. Are Magus' armies really closing in? Well, the mythical hero has appeared, so we'll be alright. Want to hear my tale? Sure. Goblins with huge hammers roam the Denodoro Mountains to the east, but burn their weapons and their pussycats. That's your tale. Great story. Did you know they say the mythical Masamune uh, lies deep within the Denodoro Mountains? But it's guarded by terrible beasts. Clear your conscience. The end of the world is coming. Thanks, sister. Uh, many people go to the inn. If you seek someone, ask there. By the way, the energy worlds will dissipate if you use your slash attack. There's balance in nature. Magus is trying to bring forth an immense evil. If he succeeds, there will be nowhere to run. We'll all perish. That's why I'm living it up now. Hello there. This is the R&R &R Hotel. It'll cost you 50 gold. Well, yes, I will stay. Oh yes, well then, rest and relax. So, you notice that uh, there was a person in this room up here, sitting on this bed. And as soon as I said that I'll sleep in the room, they jumped off the bed and disappeared. And so did the uh, lady that was uh, kind of tending the room there. Uh, they're just gone now. Um, however, if I leave and come back, they should be back in there. There we go. Have you met the hero already? Yes, I have. Wow, I wish I could just get a glimpse of him. I've got butterflies. A sword called the something or other Mune uh, was made hundreds of years ago. No one has the skill to make a sword like that anymore. So yeah, uh, a lot of people get uh, back and forth on what the correct pronunciation of this sword is. Um, whether it's Masamune or Masamune. Um, Masamune is actually the uh, correct Japanese pronunciation. So that's what I uh, tend to go with there. Um, although Masamune uh, is uh, the English pronunciation. Uh, and considering it's a medieval sword, um, rather than like a katana or something like that, the argument could really go either way. Um, all right. Little house here. This isn't here in 400 years. There's some boxes, I'm taking them. Mid ether and a mid ether, nice. Uh, my husband Marco hasn't returned from the war. But these woods mean a lot to us, so I'll guard them until he returns. Okay. Uh, so there's a path going up into those mountains over there. We're not going to go there just yet. We're going to check out what else is going on in this town. Here's the poor in. Okay, pretty sure it's the same guy. <laughs> um, Alright. Ooh, hey. Sparkle, sparkle. Power tab. Don't overdo it. I'm gonna put on this armor and fight that stupid Max. So, hey. Yeah, it's heavy. Okay. Uh, gold suit uh, and beret. So beret, uh, is it beret or beret? 
don't know. Um, but apparently that is a uh, female-only piece of armor, similar to the uh, maiden suit. Um, it's cheap. Should I? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy the armor. I keep telling you guys that you don't need to do it. So I'm gonna prove that you don't need to do it. Um, I can't believe the legendary hero is that naughty runt Tata. Have you heard about the magical cave? The one east of Denodora Mountains? No, I have not. I saw a rock wall there pop open, and a gaggle of ghouls just walked right in. Best to leave Magus and his cronies alone, though. Alright, you're just chilling in the corner, huh, buddy? I can't believe the legendary hero was a boy from this village. Did you hear the latest? No, I have not. Well, remember that the legendary hero is from this village, then. Okay. Little Tata must be away. We haven't seen him in a while. But things are a lot quieter without that bride around. A strange monster came by the other day, mumbling about Queen Lean and the Masamune. That sure were an ugly frog. Party har. Okay. Tata's house. My son, the legendary hero. It must have been all that oatmeal. And to think that I'm his father. Okay. My grandson's a brave hero. That's from my side of the family. Hee hee hee. Okay. Nothing up here. And, uh... Alright. Uh, and then... The Elder's House is the last one over here. So we'll check this out. Uh, two of those boxes. Only I had some jerky. What a great meal I can make. I'm gonna marry Tata. Okay, so... I'm gonna get some more jerky for these people. Uh, next to the bed is a treasure box. Open it and the contents are yours. The magic cave lies under a mountain east of Denodoro. Tata received the hero medal. At first I thought it was fake. He must have done something very brave. He's probably up north looking for the legendary sword. Okay. So now we got this boy Tata, who is, uh, the hero, apparently. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, I'm sure we'll find out more uh, when we find Tata, eventually. Um, yeah, so we're gonna leave it there, uh, and we'll come back and, uh, pick up, uh, trying to find Tata. Uh, and maybe a little more about that, uh, weird frog monster that walked into the, uh, inn, the, uh, Tavern, in whatever you want to call it. Alright, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Nick, bye.